Oh, so many proud moments for this country in recent times, certainly this weekend as we take you to the All England Tennis Club. Um, and of course, joined by former professional tennis player Jeff Kutzer to talk about not one, not two, um, obviously final appearances, but the appearance of so many South Africans in the mix in world tennis. Let's start. Um, first of all, welcome. Great to connect with you, man. I, I know how emotionally invested you are in South African tennis. To see Kevin Anderson do what he has done, um, to falter at that final step, I think that last hurdle just too much for his mind, maybe his body having spent 21 hours or something close to that on court. Kevin Anderson losing out to Novak Djokovic in straight sets in that final. What do you make of Kev's appearance performance at Wimbledon this year? Yeah, I think it's a great effort for Kevin to make the finals, you know, and uh, the semi-final did take its toll, as you saw yesterday. But, I um, mean, all credit to Kevin. I mean, what a wonderful tournament he's had. And also, you know, U.S. Open last year as well. So, you know, with a couple of slams. And I think he's really right up there. You know, it's a matter of time. Then hopefully he can take a slam. I mean, some of the commentators, they, they raised, and I think it was Boris Becker that spoke about having a, a, a B and, an A and a B game. And that, at his best, his A game could beat the best in the world. His service game was amazing. And that let him down yesterday. Fortunately, his first serve percentage just wasn't there. Novak almost looked like the big server out of the two of them. But it was those adjustments that Novak made to counter his style of play. And it just felt like he, he couldn't make any changes to the way he was playing. Um, is that a mental thing? Is that a lack of experience in those big finals? I think it's just a matter of, you know, you, you have to have a first percentage. And Kevin relies so much on his serve. And when that kind of lets him down, he needs to get a, a plan B, where I felt like I didn't dominate. And obviously, with no legs, it was really tough. And, uh, and that's what you need to do, especially in the finals. You need around high 60% first serves to, or second serves to, to win the match. Especially if you're a, a six-foot giant server. That's, that's your, your game. And Novak was superb, looking, looking pretty close to his, his best. 32 plays, 35. The, the age groups there is 32 when you should be peaking as a tennis player. Um, what, what do we expect from Kevin in the future? Well, nowadays it is. You know, you can see the tennis has changed. The guys are getting so much more physical, and and it's so professional. I mean, from the food you walk into the the restaurants, it's just been so. I mean, they've taken it to a different level, and you can see the extension that the guys can play up until and even dominate when you're 33, 34. It seems like that's probably the prime these days. Yeah, I feel so old right <laughs> right about now. Um, then we've got a chat about about Raven also faltering on the finish line there. I mean, you've spent a lot of time with him. You know what this would have meant to him. Where did this come from, man? This is awesome. Two South Africans in two finals. Yeah, I mean, very, very uh, glad for Raven. And uh, I think Raven's just one of those guys, such a professional, works really hard. And he hadn't had a great year, but I mean, he just kept at it and he stayed positive. And uh, I mean, just showed you, you know, swings here and there. And I mean, what a proud moment. He was a little bit unlucky to lose his serve at five all, but I mean, that's the, the, the name of the game, you know. It's the nature of finals. Then I'm going to mention one more name here, Hotazzo Monchane, um, in the wheelchair tennis. Um, I, and I hate saying it like this, but this is the, the bottom line. The first black female to make it into Wimbledon from our country. That is amazing and a sign of the times. Yeah, I mean, KG is awesome, you know, and Lucas was there as well. I saw them a couple of days ago, and she was just so happy, you know. It was a great moment for her, and they're going off to Nottingham this week to play there, and then they're coming home. But, I mean, what an absolute pleasure for her to be there, and what an achievement. Yeah, and that's, that's running with the, the, the big dogs at the moment, and I, I really do love the fact that Kevin Anderson highlighted the fact that the, the honour of just playing on that court, making it into that tournament, and I, I think he just showed absolute class with the way that he spoke, certainly after the John Isner uh, Titanic showdown, the fact that he was more upset about his friend losing than he was uh, emotional about himself winning and making into that final speaks volumes. But uh, thank you so much. Welcome yeah. home, son. I know you, your, your traveling is just about as crazy as, um, as the rest of that team. So thank you so much for, for stepping into studio. Um, and good luck with going back to school tomorrow. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for having me. Oh, man, a very proud moment for South African tennis. Uh, two finalists. Unbelievable.